And I think that's, that, that's still out there right in front of us. We have ministers today who think that somehow they have got a better way. And, and, and the real struggle within the leadership body then becomes, yeah, how do you allow for uh, some change? Every generation or two has experienced what we're going through right now. All right, what we're going through now, this period of self-examination, not the first time we've done that. If you listen to some of our 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 older members in the, in the churches of Christ, they can tell you about what happened way back when Brother Hogan, Brother Stewart, Brother Keith. Well, they went through some of you know like some of these same discussions they had. Been. And so it's not new. And secondly, every generation has to be very careful not to, to come to the conclusion that they got. We, we've attached, and I think everybody who's spoken on this has made that point at least, we've attached theology to tradition. Because what happens is, if I tell you that it's my preference, then you can take it out of the church. But if I tell you that it's theology and it's Bible, then you're not allowed to touch it. So we've put the, the theology truth box, we've made it, we, we've thrown everything. 6 p.m., that's, that's biblical, okay? Because I want you to throw it out. Because if you throw it out, okay, I don't like it. So. I think, I think that's one mistake that we've made. And here's the interesting part about this. We started talking about unity in the church and, and deacons and elders and, and getting along and, and, and loving one another and all that stuff. And yet, when it comes to outsiders, we're not willing to extend that same grace. So we want in the church what we're not willing to extend to others. I'll simply say this. I think we have to be careful about what we're willing to send people to hell for. That's number one. Number two, I think we need to be careful that we as a church don't spend all of our time arguing with one another while the world looks at us and says, how silly. Now I will defend scripture, I will defend truth in English, in Greek, in Hebrew, in Aramaic, You put yourself in their shoes. You know, turn the tables. Say they say about the Church of Christ that they're, we're wrong. Y'all are a cult. And that's what people say. You know, y'all are a cult. You know, uh, y'all are wrong. You know, y'all are narrow minded for, for thinking that, 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 that doctrine. Our natural response is to be a fool. That's right. So, all of these things, man, I think. We just got to sit down. We got to ask ourselves again about the method. What's appropriate? What's inappropriate? Same message. We've we we got to agree. I mean, we, we don't have to. My, my point's valid just because my point's different from yours. And if I say, you know, if, I'm, if we're both sitting in the boat and we each have our own space and I drill a hole in, in the floor of the boat, uh, in the bottom of the boat, and I say, hey, you're drilling a hole in the bottom of the boat, you say, it's my space. Do what I want to with it. Uh, you're, 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 you're uh, I, 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 I'm bad. I stand up on this. Yeah. And I dare you to challenge. It's not about man trying to show who you are, but it's about trying to convert souls yeah. Yeah. and save souls. Yeah. I don't care about trying to, you know, show my manhood, and I don't care about any brother trying to show his manhood to me. I just want to get people in the water. What is the correct doctrine versus our traditions and what Brother Chuck said, our preferences? Let's meet, let's find out what does the Bible say. Okay, the Bible tells us to sing without these mechanical instruments. We all know that. The question is, how do we do that?